Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we are going to learn what is multiple inheritance. Keep in mind in the previous video we have learned what is multi-level inheritance. So in this video we will learn what is multiple inheritance. So let's begin. So first we will see what is multiple inheritance. So we have two base class in the multi-level inheritance which was in the previous video we have one base class and there are two derived class but in the multiple inheritance we have two base class as you can see base class 1 and base class 2 and we will derive a class from both these base classes so we will see an example here so we'll include our basic header files which are as usual include iustream.h and include conio.h now first uh, we will declare a base class student then we will declare a base class marks and then we derive a class result and we will display both these things in our derived class so let's begin we will first define our student which is base class and we will use role number here and a character for a name we will specify the size keep in mind you have to define these variables in public so that we can use this in whichever function we want and now we will write a function to get input from the user so we will simply use get this is user defined so we will use get and now just a simple message here enter r number and we will save this in R and O and we will write a second message because we have declared two variables so we will write two message enter name and we will save this in name and now we will close our get function now we got the information from the user now we have to display this to the user so we will write a simple function of displaying this so we will use void disp and now we will just simply display this so r number equals to and now we will concat it with r and o and see out we will do the same thing here name equals to name and now we can close our first base class here and now we will declare our second base class so our second base class was class marks in marks we will define two variables marks1 and marks2 to get the marks of two subjects so m1 m2 and also here we have to define this in public because we are going to use this in a different function so in m1 and m2 now we will just write a simple get function so we'll use get because we cannot declare two function with same name so i have what we have done we have previously declared a function with get name so you can either use input or something else but we will use get one and in get one we will simply print a message enter marks of two subjects and we will save this in m1 and m2 now we will close our second base class this is the point to remember now we will declare our derived class which we will derive from both these base class the first marks class and second student so the syntax is same we will use the keyword class followed by the name of derived class which we will use here result and now our semicolon and just name the two class which are first will be our student and with a comma write the name of the second class public second class is marks and now we will define a third variable to get the result of these two marks because we have to add this so we will just define you can directly show but you can add it too so we will add it again write it in public because we are going to use it in different function integer total and now to display this we will use a display function you can see 
we have used disappear and now I'm using display here. So the name of the functions are different. And now we will just save this in. So TOT is equal to M1 plus M2. And we will see out total equals to and just type TOT because the result is saved in TOT and now we'll close the display function we'll close the derived class and now it's the time for main function so in main function we will go through this once again so stay tuned now before declaring the void main we have just clear our concept what is multi inheritance so as I said we will declare two class first is student which I have declared here and second is our marks class which I have declared here as you can see class marks these are base class because there is no relationship defined these are base class now what we have done we have defined two variables integer r number and integer character name and we have defined two functions void get to get the input from the user of this r number and name and display these things to the user so the user can see what they have input and now in our second base class what we did this is our second base class marks what we did we just return a simple function of input and now because we will display this in our main we will call we will call this function in our main class so just we have got input of two marks here and now what we did in the derived class we printed the total of marks 1 and marks 2 which is here we will call this function also in our main class and this is our derived class which we derived from two main classes which are here public student and public marks now it's the time for our main class so in the main class what we have to do as I said in the earlier video you have to call the object of the class that is derived that you have derived last so here we have derived the result class last so we will use all the objects of result so result r and now we have created a simple object of result class r now what we will do we will clear the screen and now we call all the functions that we have declared in our main classes so first we will call this get function then we will call this second get function then we will call this first display function and then we will call this second display function so there are two get functions and two display function so we will call them in our main class so our object is r so we will use r dot first was get so we called our first function second was our get one so we will use get1 r dot get1 third is our display we have used r dot disp and fourth was our display first I was disp and now it is display this is how we call four functions here and now what we will do we will just see the output so we will first write get cs to hold the screen for output and now we will just run the program there should be no error yes there are no error first we have to enter the r number which we will insert one name we will write chirag marks of two subject we will write 34 54 and now as you can see r number name chirag total 88 is printed i will explain once again in short what happened first we have declared an result class object r so when we call the r dot get it invoked the function of our base class student which is this so it asked for r number and name so what and then what happened in our second we call the r dot get one so it invoked the get function of the second base class which is this so it asked for the marks and in the third step we called the r dot disp now this displayed the details which we have inserted in the main class which was r number and name this is our function and in the fourth step we have called the r dot display function which was the display of the derived class so that we can display the total marks and now we call the get ch and just 
because the program work perfectly we will use some manipulators to make it look better we will use the slash n for new line and slash t for some space so we were wherever we have printed a message we will use the slash n and slash t slash n slash n This will not affect anything in the program. It will print only the things more clearly. So we'll run again the program once. Now we will write the number. You can see the space between the R number and the number one. Now for the name, we will write Akash. In the marks of two subject, we will write 67 and 54. And now you can see R number one name is equal to Akash and total is equal to 121. This is how you can use the concept of multiple inheritance in C++. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestion, please leave that in the comment box.